Ethos of Bertha School is very much about enjoying, achieving and succeeding together. The community aspect of Burford School, be it from the governors to the teaching staff to the pupils and their parents, are all really important. We do produce very good exam results. We outperform against the national picture consistently and we're a high performing school when we compare ourselves to other local schools in the area. But we're actually really proud of the breadth and depth of the curriculum that we offer as well. We try to enrich it in many different ways. So we have off timetable weeks. We have a creative week where we encourage visiting artists to come and work with our children. We also have our STEM weeks. So we have our science, technology, engineering and maths weeks where we're really adding things to our curriculum. School trips play a massive part in our curriculum. Each year group will have either two or three trips or experiences a year, so it might be a trip out or a visitor coming in. There are a range of opportunities for children at Burford School. We now start really young. We start opening the nursery in September 2018. Beyond that, we also have a beautiful grounds. Uh, we benefit from having a forest school. We have lots of forest school leaders and the children in year one and reception spend a significant amount of time up in the forest school area, learning to take risks, exploring the outside space and really enjoying that freedom to learn through play. As well as that, the grounds we have enable us to have brilliant sports facilities. Also, the children engage in lots of extracurricular opportunities. We have anywhere between 12 and 15 extracurricular sports clubs during a week, in addition to our music offer as well. Teaching at Burford is, is really, really strong. Uh, our teachers are incredibly committed. How are using the scale? Come on, it's like a number line. We've been considering how we could improve our teaching of maths and came across the concept of teaching for mastery. And we're very proud not only to have developed that in our school, but also now to be supporting seven other schools. It enables us to impart our knowledge, impart our practice and support other schools in their journey as well. The approach to ICT has really changed over the last few years. We've gone very device based, so we've got lots of laptops, lots of iPads in the classroom. We found it was quite an amusing time for our reception children coming in. They'd go on the computer and swipe the screen and tell us it didn't work. So we're moving very much with the technology, moving with the times and supporting the children. Music's a really important part of Burford School. Research really shows how important musical development is to the child's brain. And having a music specialist who's developing that in children each and every week is really important to us. We take over 100 children to sing at the O2, children to sing at the Royal Albert Hall. Many peripatetic teachers join us to teach a range of instruments. <laughs> Behaviour Birth School is great, but they are children, they need support. And as a result, over the last year or so, we've developed what we call a restorative approach to behaviour management. Traditionally, schools have had a punitive behaviour system where children get in trouble, they're punished, but they don't really learn from that. The principles behind restorative justice are much more about a community aspect of behaviour, children understanding the impact of their negative behaviour and having that understanding helps them to think about how we might behave differently next time. We're going to go round the circle, nice and slow, big smiles and person next to you. We've developed what we call the Burford body, uh, looking at a jigsaw. Yeah, every part of that child's body needs to be working in harmony and it's best for the children to succeed. Children are growing up in a 24-7 society and actually building resilient citizens is really what we're trying to achieve. Yes. Okay. I'd like to think the children would say they enjoy their time at Burford, that they're here creating memories, that residential trip, that time that they stood up when they were nervous in their school assembly and they delivered that line. It might have only been one line, but it was the proudest moment they'd had all year. I think building memories and creating opportunities for everlasting friendships is something that I'd hope the children would discuss and talk about when they think about Burford School. One of my memories was when I first came here. I was actually so excited and I had a lovely first day here. I made lots of new friends such as Kieran. I love Creative Week because um, you get to make lots of different things but you don't have to base it on one thing. You can just um, use your imagination to make something new um, from your mind. On World Book Day, one of our teachers was dressed in the cat in the hat and she had like black noise whistles going out and it looked really funny. The subjects are so interesting and I have like five favourites. English, history, science, art 
and geography. When we were in forest school, I put a worm missing his and turned him to screen. I won the skipping race at sports day and it was, it was really, really amazing for me because I never win anything like that and I was really happy because I, I won. Um, it's going to be quite sad leaving Burford um, after seven years but I've made really good memories and good friends that will definitely last for a long time. Burford School means an incredible amount to me. Without that partnership between teachers and with the school staff, with parents, with the children, without us all working together, we wouldn't be able to achieve the incredible things that we do.